Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a President's Day composition. I'm going to take three fingers over here on the left and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line down and stop. Come back to the dot, I'm going to draw another curve line down and connect. Underneath, I'm going to draw one straight line, a slightly curved line, a straight line up, connect. Come back to the left, we're going to draw a straight line, curve line off the page on the left. Come on the right, straight line, curve line, off the page, on the right. Come back right here at the left and we're going to draw a straight line out, straight line down, connect. Come on the right hand side, we're going to draw a straight line out, straight line down, connect. Come way down here on the left and put a little straight line. Way down on the right, put another little straight line. Now come up to this point right here and we're going to draw a straight line down off the page on the left and a straight line down off the page on the right. Inside this space I draw one, two, three, four baby circles. I come up to this space on the right and I draw one, two, three baby circles. Come on the left hand side, draw one, two, three baby circles. Right here on this space in the center, I'm going to draw a slightly curved line, one, two. Now you can add more baby circles and more lines if you have the space, this is just what I have. On the left hand side, I'm going to draw a curved line out, curved line in, connect, jump over on the right hand side, Curve line out, curve line in, connect. I come back to my very first dot and I just draw a little slightly curved line, connect. Starting where I stop, I draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line out, wavy line in, connect. Come back to the line up here on top and draw another wavy, wavy line down, wavy line in, connect. Come on the inside of my oval and just draw a little wavy line on the left, little wavy line on the right. Come over here on the left and we're just going to draw one curved line, draw another curved line on the right, come back to the left, draw a little curved line on the left, little curved line on the right. Come back to the left and just put a little dot in the center on the left and a little dot in the center on the right. Now come right here in the middle and we're just going to draw a slightly wavy line out, in, and leave it open. And down below we're just going to draw a curved line, curved line, curved line, and a little curved line underneath. Okay? Now I come over on the right hand side. I put three fingers and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a skinny rectangle. Straight line out, straight line up, straight line out, straight line down, straight line back into my dot. Come right above on the left and we're just going to draw a straight line up, straight line over, straight line down, connect. Come jump over, come over on this space and we're just going to draw a straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. Come on the left hand side, draw a curved line out and a curved line in. Come on the right hand side, curved line out, curved line in. Come right about here and just draw a little curved line on the left, little curved line on the right. Come back to the left, little curved line down on the left, little curved line down on the right. Now come over to the left right here and we're just going to draw a curve line, curve line, keep going, curve line, curve line, connect. 
We're going to come back inside and we're just going to draw a little curve line on the left, little curve line on the right. Come down, draw another little curve line on the left, little curve line on the right. Come back to the left, add a dot. Come back to the right, add a dot. Come right in the center. We're going to draw a slightly curved line and leave it floating. Come on the left hand side right here and put a dot. Come underneath, we're going to go curve line, curve line, curve line, little curve line. Starting on the left over here, we're going to draw a slightly curved line, straight line down, come back up. On the right, slightly curved line, straight line down. Right here in the center, we're going to draw an oval. Now on the right, we're going to draw a straight line out, wavy line. Curve line up, connect on the right, straight line out, wavy line, curve line up, connect on the left. If you have room, put one, two little straight lines above, one, two straight lines down below, put one little line on the left, one little line on the right, come in and let's go one, two, three baby circles. Okay, now I come back to the left down here and I'm just going to draw a curve line up, jump over, curve line down, jump over, curve line up. Come right about here, right above, and we're going to draw a curve line up, down, up, jump over, curve line up. Okay. Now I come here. Now these two figures are in the foreground. They're the biggest. Now I'm going to do my middle ground. Come on the left. We're going to draw one straight line, big straight line over, straight line down, connect. And it doesn't have to be even. You're okay. I come up above and I draw a straight line, straight line in the center. Come back to the point on the right. Straight line out. Straight line diagonal out, straight line in, connect on the right, come back to the dot, straight line out, straight diagonal out, straight line in, connect. Come on the left hand side, we're just going to draw one, two, three straight lines on the left, jump over, one, two, three straight lines on the right. Come back to the left and we're just going to draw a straight line out, straight line in, connect, on the left, straight line out, straight line in, connect on the right. Come right here in this space and we're just going to draw a flat oval. And right above, I'm going to put a straight line, curve line, straight line in. I'm going to put a little curve line on top, little bitty straight line, wavy line out, wavy line in. Now I come down here in the center and I draw a baby triangle, I draw a skinny rectangle, I draw one, two straight lines going down, one, two straight lines going down. Now, this has a lot of windows, but we're just going to put one, two little boxes, jump over, one, two little boxes. Some of you might have room, some of you might not, don't worry. Come down below, one, two, jump over, one, two. If you have room, you can add a little rectangle. These are the shutters to each one of your windows, but if you don't, that's okay. Now, what did we just draw? This is Mount Vernon, where George Washington lived. Next to Mount Vernon, though, we're now going to draw a wavy, wavy, well that's curved line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. We're going to come up above, right in the center, and put a dot. From that dot, we're going to draw a straight diagonal down on the left, straight line in, come back to the dot, straight diagonal out, straight line in, connect. On the left hand side, we're going to put little tiny baby circles all the way down, jump up, little baby circles all the way up. Okay? 
Then we're going to just put a little puffs, curve line, curve line of smoke. Come down to the center. We're just going to draw a curve line. Connect. Put a dot. And now we're going to put horizontal straight lines going across. And this is our log cabin. And then if you have room, you can put straight lines across your roof. However many you can fit in. Okay? Alright. Now we're going to do our last curve line. Curve line up. Down. Jump over. Curve line up. And inside the background, this is our mid-ground, inside the background we're going to draw some stars. Straight line up, straight line down, straight line out, straight line in, straight line out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. Now all of us are going to have more room or less room depending on how we drew and that's okay. Straight line up, down, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. All the way over. Now this is the background. Now some of you are going to be able to fit a lot of stars. Some of you might only be able to fit a couple of stars. It does not matter. Basically we just want our composition to be finished. So foreground, George, Abraham. Midground, Mount Vernon, Log Cabin, Background, Stars. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay. George Washington had gray white hair. So I used a gray crayon and did his hair. And from what I can tell from his pictures or his paintings, he was a very pink man. So if you have pink, you can use pink. I think this is an apricot, so colored in his face, just so he doesn't look so white. Okay, then this middle part I left white, but this is all green because he was a soldier, he was in the military. This is green that they would use out in the forest for camouflage. And then lastly, I gave him yellow buttons because they had military buttons all the way across. Now, Abraham Lincoln, he's pretty easy because all you do is black, 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 black. There was so much black that I decided to give him a blue bow tie. You could do purple and little blue buttons. That's just to break up the blackness of it all. Gave him brown hair, big old brown beard. And he was a little bit more rugged than George, so I gave him a, if you have tan, if you have face colors, I gave him a tan face because he was out in the woods a lot. Okay? Now, Monticello. This is George Washington's house. Red, red, red. Little part up here, red, red, red. This side on the left, red. Everything else white. And if you can, you want to make your little shutters black. But if you don't have room, don't worry, that's fine. So this is all black. Okay? Everything else leave alone. And now we're going to do Abraham Lincoln's family log cabin. And this is important. That This is why I chose these things to put in the middle ground because this is the story of America with the presidents. You can be George Washington and be in the military and live in a big old house. Or you can be Abraham Lincoln and be born in a log cabin and still become president. I did his little rocks chimney. I made those gray and his door is brown. 
And now I'm going to do the background on all of these. So I was thinking red, white, blue. So this whole section behind George and Abraham I made red. Skip the white, came up, did blue all around Mount Vernon and the family log cabin. This is all blue like a flag. And then I wanted to leave my stars white, but I wanted to add a stripe of red. So I just drew red straight lines all the way across my stars. Okay? You can vary this. This is just what I did. Let's see what it looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my President's Day composition. Foreground, middle ground, and background. Okay, bye-bye.